Oh shit. Oh no. I only just finished my pasta salad. I guess we gotta go. It's Sunday. Will the stream hold up? It remains to be seen. Hello, everybody. Oh, boy. We got a lot to sort out here. This ain't right. We're off to a wild start today. Hello, Bird Witch. How are you doing this bank holiday weekend? The Struggle Ruffian is here. <laughs> what do I got here? Um, maybe this, very compressed. Maybe like, uh, oh lord. I really didn't prepare for this. <laughs> I never do. Uh, there, oh. Oh! Oh! I think this is... I think this is our chat box today. There we go. I think... That looks appropriate. We get it... We, we ready to get root? Rude? Rudy? I guess I need to stop the music. I feel like my uh I feel like my monitor is really loud in my headphones. How y'all doing? We got a sore birthday boy. We got look at this. I bought this for 75p. I I hope it's worth it. Uh we'll have to try it out at some point. It will it won't even open on my PS5. Uh but we got root letter. <laughs> It is a good icon, isn't it? I, uh... I, uh, kind of screwed the pooch. Uh... In my games purchases. I got paid yesterday. And I bought a few... I bought a few indie horror games. And they all suck. <laughs> so we'll have to stream them at some point. Uh, I, I don't know if the 75p game sucks. I bet it's amazing. Okay. So. Wait. 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 Yeah. So we, we've cleared our government plot. Uh, I think... What do we do? Do we go back to the title screen? Oh, Lord. Main menu. Uh, I can't be trusted. I really can't. I guess we have to start a new game. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Shiori! Don't mind if I do. Aging differently, you start at one. <sighs> Come on now. Hello, CD Breakfast. How you doing? It looks like we're starting again, but thank God we're not. At least I hope we're not. Okay, okay. Um, let me open my phone. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Do we have to play through the intro again? Okay. Well, that's fine. We can do that. Got my letter. We're just skipping through this because, you know, we've seen all this before. <laughs> um,. We got our letter. It says I killed somebody. Gotta go. Don't come looking for me. Definitely don't come to Matsue. Oh 
my god. I figured it would just, like, let us skip to the points. But, um, I guess we gotta... We, we gotta make sure we're au fait. With, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We'll make a save here right at the start, so we can get back to this easily. Oh, we might have to restart it every time. <laughs> this fucking game. Okay. Alright, the first thing we want to do... I got a little walkthrough here. We want to say, I like reading, and uh, do you like to read? <laughs> An alien troll trolling us for laughs. That's what happened. I stay home and read. Do you like to read? Do you like do you like do you like scary books? Uh, I think they signed up for a service when they were in high school. Here we are. We're in Matsue. Man, having to restart this every time. This might get tough. <laughs> I think we've gotten through this okay, though. We're ahead on our way. There's Shimon Echo. Pen Pal is probably a lost art. I guess with the internet, yeah, right? I was exchanging letters with a pal um, this year. Um, I actually need to write back. It's been quite a few months and I haven't written back. I'm a real, I'm real bad about that kind of thing. Take the railroad. You'll love it. Thanks. Birdwitch, I uh, had a feeling you would still have pen pals and send letters. That seems very you, and I mean that in a complimentary way. Boy, they really, uh... They really make you go through this, don't they? Hard to write, hard to write in the now times. Um, my, uh... I like the idea of writing a letter, but my wrist hurts so much if I write for an extended period, and it gets me quite frustrated. It's all that gaming. It's ruined my body. <laughs> okay. Are we... Are we looking out the window and saying, wow, what a scene. I'm not going to let you see it. Oh. Oh, yeah, I would appreciate posts. That'd be lovely. I like those little mice that you sent Justina. I um there's the little tiny baby one. We do we have them on display in the window and Borsch keeps knocking down the tiny baby one. I think we put the tiny baby one at the top of the Christmas tree last year. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 There we go. Let's save our game. Well, they're very much appreciated. They are still in our window now. Can write for longer than you can type because of your fight sticks. <laughs> okay, all right, four eyes. All right, this wasn't too bad to get here. And maybe, maybe the points that we get will just, um, let us uh, um, not have to restart the game to answer the first letter again. Because I, I have a feeling like I just answered the letters with any old shit the first time we played. A struggle ruffian actually does go out and beat people with sticks. Uh, I'd like to explore old ruins. Are there any spooky stories? Okay. Uh, there we go. I got my monster mule. All the kids are talking about it today. Um, I felt embarrassed just thinking about it. <laughs> and so you should. 
Like Persona choices? Like, uh, Kane Sword? Stick Fighty Fight. Okay, what did we say with this stationery? Let's find out. Uh, I don't want to become an adult. Will you, do you want to become an adult? <laughs> Thanks, I'm Max. <laughs> yes, that was our reply and we loved it. I got pretty serious. <laughs> Don't worry, Marikoshi Auntie. Oh no. Pick up that smartphone and skip, skip, skip. Uh, high school forever sounds like a nightmare. I do have nightmares that I'm back in high school. Um, the eternal high school student is idealistic, but I think it's wonderful to become an adult, too. Do you think men and women can really be friends? <laughs> I think this is where we got really, really horrible <laughs> last time. Buns is definitely not one of us. Women are self-centered. How about yourself? <laughs> I think that's pretty much what we said last time, but that's what we got to do. Would have bullied all of us? Yeah. But yeah, the ladies love me. <laughs> How's everybody's weekend been so far? <laughs> cool is happy to be a ghoul. <laughs> You're at the school. <laughs> well, he's in max mode. What do you cherish in life? I think it's probably the first answer every time. So what do we have? Uh, nature and ghosts. <laughs> Fatty was saying bitches out. <laughs> Fucking awful. This game is fucking awful. Okay. Mongeese? What did I do yesterday? I cleaned my toilet. <laughs> That's all I did. I cleaned my toilet. Um, and I played um, No More Heroes 3, which I'm really liking. Duo Goose. Justina was out with her pal, and they were wild swimming again. Swimming with the ducks. Swimming with the freaking ducks. <laughs> and I was home. But I had a good one. Um, I stayed up too late as well. I stayed up till like 2 in the morning. Just hanging out. Thanks, Ginger. Quiet Man did set a standard of horrible, horrible. This is, um... This is entertaining horrible, and, uh... I, like, if I... If I wasn't doing Quiet Man on stream with, with Hugh, um... I don't think I would have been entertained at all. And even then, it was kind of a push. Long black hair. Long black hair, do you like black hair? Okay. <laughs> You're such a weirdo, dude. Absolute freak shit. Okay. There she is again. We should run away with her. And the final letter. Which is... The little gnome stationery. There he is. Sitting under his mushroom. Out of the rain. What do we have here? Uh, I like friends, is what we're going to say. A family canoeing. Splashing bad canal water at each other. That's very fun. Isn't that nice? Um, written about good games for streaming specifically. I'm sure people have. 
I guess it's a very new, new form of, well, I say new. No, I mean, in the, in the grand scheme of things, I guess it is like a new way to uh, uh, absorb media. I like friends. And do you like friends? Yeah, last weekend, we walked along the canal of, um, to the, to the, uh, to the river, to the River Lee. And there were lots of signs everywhere that said, like, beware, don't fall in, you'll get diseases. <laughs> yes. Same path, huh? Good morning to you. Like, there's definitely a bit of a discourse around games that are being developed as, like, a sort of quote-unquote stream bait. You know, games that have streaming in mind. And I'm not really interested in those kind of games. That's like for the, that's for your big boys. That's for your, that's for your uh, guys who uh, scream and squeal and um, say slurs and say, oopsie, I said a gamer word. Okay, this was the Christmas letter. And what do we do here? What did we reply? I guess we reply anything. And then we skip the chapter. Thank you for your letter. I love Christmas. Oh, we didn't give a reply in this one. The mini culture between streamer and chat that decides what is good. Yeah. I'm getting kind of attached to Tomoko, seeing her in the quick succession. Okay. On to chapter nine. Crow stationery. That's not alien stationery. Let's see what happens, huh? Okay. I hope we can get through all of this today. Oh, hey, we found a, we found a friend. It's the ninth day since I came to Matsue. I woke up to the calling of a crow. What a terrible way to wake up. I have a bad feeling. <laughs> We're going to turn into the quiet man. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Oh, no. No. Uh, oh, right. Uh, there's a letter I haven't reread yet. I take the letter out of my bag. It's on crow pattern stationery. It's her ninth letter. Postmarked January 11th. I read the ninth letter. <laughs> hey, check out this bird. I love that stationery, though. That's awesome. <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> yeah, the tied-up bird made me sad. <laughs> Wow. I think she's threatening us. She's like, hey, idiot. You're acting like a dipshit. Maybe uh, dial it back a bit, or you might die. See ya. I think she hated me. <laughs> I wonder what my response to that letter was. Yes! Yes! Okay, let's see here. Thank you for your letter. I'm glad you find me interesting, though I think you're giving me too much credit. Uh, I'm not that great a person. You're embarrassing. That's not what she said! That's not what she said. She called us an idiot. Uh, I wouldn't say Max is my belief. I just kind of end up doing it that way. I can't help myself. A moderate life, huh? That sounds good, too. But my sense of curiosity can't be stopped. Max. Lots of misunderstandings on my part. <laughs> it's putting it lightly. <laughs> Someone knocks on the door. Haruka comes in with a package. What's it going to be this time? What was it last time? Was it magazines? Thank you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I'm not that great a guy. You know, I'm just average. You're embarrassing me now. <laughs> Your weird package that you're getting sent to the end. No, no, it's just my ketamine for the weekend. Uh, Haruka leaves the room. When I open the package, there's a magazine from 15 years ago, the November issue of Teen's Queen. So what's going to happen since there's no aliens this time? Uh, this is the issue I ordered from the publisher, the Teen's Queen from 15 years ago. There should be a picture of my pen pal in there. The cover says, Beautiful Girls of Sanin Special. <laughs> Looks like this is the right one. As I flip through the pages, I start to panic. Ah! Uh, all of the faces in the magazine are tarnished. Pitch black! Whoa! What's going on? That face! What's going on? Let's think about it. Should I check out whatever nearby bookstores I can? No, that won't do. I can't imagine a magazine from 15 years ago would be sitting on shelves unsold as a new item. Excuse me, do you have old Elvis calendars? <laughs> Loki likes women being a bit horrible to him. You suck and you should go away and die. Mmm, I do not deserve this flattery. <laughs> I think maybe it's the latter, but uh, it'd be funny if he was a super masochist. Wait, it doesn't need to be a new item. A secondhand copy would be fine as long as I can see her face. Uh, maybe I can find the beautiful girls of Sunny Special in a used bookstore around. I'd really like to see an unmarked copy. It's creepy. Okay, out we go. <laughs> um, <clears throat> do we have a used bookstore yet? Probably in Kiyomise, Kiyomise shopping area. It was run by that old freak last time, wasn't it? Oh, Matsue Station. Okay. Fine. I bet we go there and they're like, huh, there's not one here. Let's go to the shopping district. We've got a familiar now. That damn crow again. Why is it following me? What the heck? What did I do? Matt, you should be blessed if a crow is following you. That's awesome. They're so nice. Uh, <laughs> um, awful to people. He just wants someone to uh, out-awful him. And then he's like, it's you. It's always been you. <laughs> Please take my Elvis calendar. <laughs> well, that's creepy. I'll try not to think about it and just look for the magazine. Now, if you have a goose following you, that's a problem. Uh, and that just reminded me, I had a nightmare last night that I was being chased by a goose uh, out of a park. And uh, when I got to the entrance of the park, a big peacock flared up and frightened me. It was Lloyd Park, actually, here in the borough. I think that must be like my, my deep-rooted deep pain <laughs> of the time I got frightened by a peacock when I was like five years old. Because my dream, the peacock was the same size as me, and it, like, flared up and I couldn't leave the park. And, um, when I was five, my mom, my mom took me to the Topeka Rainforest. I'm, I probably told this story already. Um, it's an indoor rainforest where you can see, like, a whole bunch of birds and some otters. And, um, they had peacocks wandering around. And, uh, as we were going to leave, these two male peacocks, like, got in front of the exit doors and, like, flared up real, real big. And I was like, oh no, I have to live in here now. <laughs> so that basically happened again in my dream last night, but with me and an, me as an adult, and with a bird, a peacock the same size as me. <laughs> I see a used bookstore, I'll start there. They're pretty cool, but I just remember, like, the bird was bigger than me when I was five, and it really frightened me, and I thought I was just going to have to stay in the Topeka Rainforest forever. <laughs> I head to the used bookstore. That was the first time I ever saw an otter, though, and I was very impressed. Uh, this is an old, shabby, second-hand bookstore. From the depth of the dark store interior, uh, a white-haired woman appears... Do my eyes deceive me, or uh, is this uh, textual description not quite apt? Whoa, monster. That's rude. Otters are really great. Uh, sorry, you came out of the dark and startled me. <laughs> Struggle, Ruffian. I'm sorry, the peacocks have him now. Just make a new son. 
I didn't mean anything by it, sorry. We just went to this woman's establishment. And called her a monster. <laughs> this isn't very frightening. How my life could have been if I was raised by peacocks, I'd probably be a lot smarter. Uh, she must be really upset. I better get the heck out of here. I leave the used bookstore. Are there any more secondhand bookstores in town? This is this is gonna be when I finally get to Japan. It's gonna be just like this. Um, look again. Look again. What do you mean by that? Like, like look. Okay, Kogomodo. I hope that old man is running at this time. I'm standing outside Kogomodo. Yeah, he is. The, uh, the White Panther himself. The store is gloomy and kind of creepy. Birdwitch, yeah, I watched a bunch of them. They're so nice. Thank you so much for linking to those. That same old man comes out from the back. I really love the vehicular travel stuff. Like all the all the different methods of getting from A to B. Um, I'm I'm absolutely wild about that stuff. I would have gone nuts about that years ago. I'm still like I was still very, very impressed with it, but I would just be like, Oh, I could just lose a day. Just lose a day watching these if I was like in my early twenties. I probably still could actually. Is this your store, Gramps? Magic Grandpa. Uh, he must resign. Really? That's some big talk. You're right to boast. You do have quite a selection of books. Yeah. The, uh, like, European truck simulator and American truck simulator. Me and the fellas still need to check out um, American Truck Simulator just got a uh, um, multiplayer and early access where you can uh, talk to each other over the CB radio. Need to give ourselves some uh, terrible nicknames. Uh, you're right to boast. You do have a, quite a selection of books. So, Jaro, so, Jaro. I like that the, um, the, the sort of... Um, boring's not the right word, but like mundane simulators are really taking off at the moment you know you got the uh, you got the bus simulator where one one player can be the bus driver and the other can be the be the conductor and check for tickets you got i guess that's being a cop actually you got the street sweeper simulator you got the power wash simulator which uh, square enix put out for some reason um i'm like i love it <laughs> It's like, um, what I have observed watching the latest series, uh, the, the latest season of anime, the, uh, the summer anime season, that, like, isekai, the, um, the another world, um, genre of anime, where, like, some, uh, bored teenager gets killed and teleported to, like, a fantasy RPG world where he does quests, that, like, isekai is still big, but the focus of isekai has changed from, like, going and being a great hero to, like, being transported to another world where you just run a small, quiet business and everybody in town likes you. <laughs> um, and you don't go on quests. You just, like, um, do some light carpentry or you mix potions and... Um, and you don't have to pay rent, and you, uh, and you just have a nice, quiet time. That seems to be, like, the new thing that's taking off, which says a lot about the world today. Um, and I kind of feel like some of these simulation games are, uh, the same way. Birdwitch, that's exactly it. Yeah. Hmm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spray this playground equipment with my power washer. And feel, feel good about it. I'm not after a hardcover or a paperback. I need to find a magazine. Excuse me, do you have any magazines? Since you're so proud of yourself, maybe you can tell me what book it is I'm after. 
15年前のティーンズクイーン11月号の顔写真の変色しちょらんやつじゃな He is a magic man. We're getting very supernatural here.、Um, I like the way he said, Teens of Queens. You're right on the mark. Just <laughs> not even impressed. Huh, how about that? Well, I guess I'll get that magazine. He's going to make us wash his back again. But with、uh, books this time. And how are you feeling now? How can I make you feel better? Tarnish only, please. <laughs> Something an old man would want. Pickled scallions, maybe? If so, I don't have it. What does this old man want?、Uh, there's a song he wanted to hear. We got the record, don't we? There it is. I'll be at the shop under my old name. Oh, right, I have this record. I take out Asahi Obayashi's record. I'll be at the shop under my old name and hand it to him. <laughs> A record for your soul. He has the issue of Teen's Queen from 15 years ago on a shelf, but it says, not for sale. How much is this? What's the big. All right. I thought you said I could have what I want. Tell me a story. They have that kind of thing? What are the seven mysteries of Matsue? <laughs> you gotta do your own research. When we go one, we go all.、Uh, don't ban me, Twitch.、I'm... That statement is made in parody. Uh, Well, crap. I guess I have to leave the store and ask some of the locals. What is going on?、Uh, I step out of the store. Who should I ask? The pedestrian passes by. <laughs> okay, street harasser time. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's ask him about the next town over. Do you know anything about the Seven Mysteries of Izumo? Izumo Oh, everybody's got seven mysteries. Susa? No, that's not it. How's Borsh? Borsh is、uh, sleeping on the bed at the moment.、Um, he seems pretty good. He seems pretty good. We might see him maybe around 3 30 or 4.、Uh, within the next hour, hour and a half.、Uh, did you know anything about the seven mysteries of Matsue? Let's go see Lafcadi O'Hearn then. Thank you. That really helps. A passerby approaches. Everything gonna be alright. Excuse me. <laughs> yes. Could you tell me about Lafcadi O'Hearn's Seven Mysteries of Matsue? I guess. Of course. <laughs> He's the opposite of us. That's scary. Oh, they put Gensuke in the bridge. I bet he didn't like that. That's kind of a scary story. Okay, thank you. I look around, but there aren't a lot of people here. I think I'll try asking somewhere else. Should we go to the Lafcadio Hearn Museum, perhaps? Oh, it's in. Look at that. It's in alphabetical order. I only noticed that.、Uh, ending one aliens, ending two ghosts. That's right. Nobody's around.、Oh. Okay. I figured this would be the place to go, but more fool me for not actually stopping to think about it and coming to a completely different、uh, conclusion. 
on where to uh, find information about Lafcadio Hearn. I talked to a high school boy passing by. Excuse me. Hi, what is this? Let's ask him about the pillar first. That might give us some good dialogue. Can you tell me about the Gensuke pillar? <laughs> Just approaching random schoolboys. I'm like, can you tell me about human sacrifice? I'm from out of town. Could you tell me about the seven mysteries of Matsue? We're gonna get all seven. Ghost children. They were taken by the peacocks. <laughs> yeah, we've gotten we've gotten in a lot of trouble for going to the school many times. Uh, wow, quite a story. Do you know any others? Thank you. I'll try asking other people too. I got exhausted after hearing stories from all these people. I'm craving something sweet. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> What's the little sweet place? Are we going to harass... Uh... Are we going to harass him? Probably in the wrong spot. Japanese sweets place nearby. Is it here? No, they're closed. Is it the Dongo shop? An ending where the town punishes us. I, God, I hope so. I'm arrive at the store. Hi, I'm arrive at the store. I'm Dad. Oh, what if we get Wicker Man? Uh, oh yeah, we got thrown in an insane asylum last time, didn't we? I'll have matcha green tea and a muffle. What is a waffle? Is that like a muffin made out of a waffle? Uh, hey Toots, I'll take a waffle. Have you heard of the seven mysteries of Matsue? <laughs> They're all gonna uh, make us disappear. Yeah, they should. I guess we befriended some of them though. Like, um, Snappy and Snappy and Monkey are definitely, like, in our corner now. Azuki Toki Bridge? So, like, Red Bean Polishing Bridge? Yeah, we're gonna get turned into Cochineal. She's washing her beans. Grandma River, the wash. Ha! That's a thing. Washing beans is a thing, I'm pretty sure. I think I've heard that, heard that before. <laughs> this samurai crossed the bridge singing. What the hell? Oh, uh, well, now we know. You sing on my bridge, I kill your kid. <laughs> Wow, that's way more horrifying than I expected. Right, thanks. The waitress brings the waffle, a waffle made from mochi rice cakes. Oh, okay. And matcha green tea. Nothing like sweets when you're tired. I tuck into the waffle and drink the tea. This is soft, sticky, crispy, and delicious. The matcha green tea is excellent too. Now I have the energy to get back to investigating. All right, we got three. We got three of seven, right? Back to the shopping district. <laughs> I 
Moffle does sound like a Moomin's thing. I think in the Moomin's anime there was a character called the Moffle. Excuse me. Oh, this guy has some real energy. Do you know anything about the Seven Mysteries of Matsue? Which one do you know? Wife Island, my favorite reality show. <laughs> Wife Island, huh? Boy, I'd like to go over there. No, jeez. It's like, ah, oh, sorry that you died. I'm gonna give you an island. <laughs> Making eye contact with his nostrils. <laughs> it's probably safer. Huh, interesting. Thank you very much. I look around. I'll try asking some more people. Excuse me. Silver Fox? Uh, I get the attention of two people that just passed, uh, passed nearby. Hi, do you have a moment? Okay. You guys better give me one each. Do you know anything about the seven mysteries? Oh, a, li a likely story. Right. I feel I'll go to the castle then. <laughs> Thank you very much. I feel... I feel like there's a lot of chaff that could be cut. You could just find the find the guy who says, Hey, um, it's the park, isn't it? Okay, I arrive at Shiro, Shiroyama Park. I'm in front of Matsuai Castle. <laughs> uh, the place is bursting with tourists. Bustling with tourists. With this many people, I should be able to find out about the seven mysteries of Matsue in no time. Excuse me. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> this guy. This is the guy. Looks kind of like a no mask. It looks like he's wearing, um, like, subtle but noticeable makeup. Do you know of the Seven Mysteries? Fox in the Castle? Ooh. A beautiful boy, eh? Wow. Huh, interesting. Thank you very much. This guy does have very interesting eyebrows indeed. The human sacrifice? I don't do well with scary stories, but please let me hear it. I built this castle because a beautiful boy told me to. <laughs> he came right up to my bed. <laughs> God, he was hot. <laughs> I thought you were it's this type of story that um, gave me my outlook in life, which is never try. And that's why I had to sit on the purple cushions, because I wouldn't uh, try line dancing. Uh, that's awful. Well, thank you. That was really helpful. This is a tourist game talking about the uh, the savage history of human sacrifice and children being decapitated by uh, the bean washer. <laughs> I part from the tourists. Gensuke's Pillar, Ghost Children, Azuki Togi Bridge, Wife Island, Fox in the Castle, 
and human sacrifice at Matsue Castle make six. Just one left. I doubt if asking random people will work. Where can I go to find out? Maybe kids are actually... Oh, no. Buns, leave the kids alone. I should go somewhere with a lot of kids. A school. Wouldn't be good if I got caught by a teacher like Monkey again. Kids these days take a lot of uh, extra activities, so I should try places like practice grounds and gyms. Hanging around the playground like, hey kid, you want to tell me about a ghost? Tell me a really scary story. Uh, there's Usagi Theater. <laughs> Kids love ghost stories, so maybe I can find something out here. A mother of one of the kids from the theater company walks towards me. Hi, Excuse me. <laughs> Do you know anything about the seven mysteries of Matsue? Child rearing candy. She's zooming in. Oh, who could that be? Thank you, Justina. Got a doorbell. <laughs> Nothing untoward. I just want to be scared by a child. <laughs> Um, went to the graveyard. Well, that's a pretty weird one. So she was raising the baby with that candy. I see. Thank you very much. That's... What? <laughs> Uh, I finally got all seven stories. Time to head back to the old man's store. I'm curious as to what happened. What's going on? Not for us. Uh, double doorbells. Huh? Oh, no. The real one. Uh, where is his shop again? It's by the station, isn't it? I head back to the station. I'm outside Kogomodo. I'm inside Kogomodo. I walk inside. Kogomo comes out from the back. Hey, Barbara. How's it going? All right. The first one is Genske's Pillar. Am I right? We're telling this old man ghost stories. Uh, I guess we have to do them in order? No, these aren't in order. The next one is Human Sacrifice of Izumo Castle. Am I right? Um, that's... Okay, Fox in the Moat. This is not the order that we found them in, because we got, uh, yeah, <laughs> fucking Wife Island. Wife Island is very funny. The next one's Wife Island. Oh, right. I guess, uh, Pitfall. I guess I Pitfell. I guess we're picking the correct name. <laughs> Scared by a child, just explaining their new trends and how they don't know the Beatles. <laughs> Fox in the castle. Uh, Azuki Togi Bridge. Uh, <laughs> Fox wife, that's me. Uh, ghost children. <laughs> Doing TikTok dances at me. <laughs> uh, the child rearing candy. And the last one is. <laughs> it's Lafcadio O'Hearn. He's a very frightening mystery indeed. You, 
the phantom geezer appearing unexpected out of nowhere. Am I right? He's not Lafcadio Hearn. Uh, the human sacrifice of Matsue Castle. A girl hears the sound of distant Bon Festival as rough, desperate hands throw her into a deep hole in the ground. There are several men standing above the hole. Oh no! Lafkadi O'Hearn is a very good name. The men begin to throw soil down onto the girl. This is pretty ghastly, I gotta say. Their faces expressionless, the men continue to fill the hole. Well, here's what you do. You, um, you shake off the dirt, and uh, as they're filling it in, you're on top of all the dirt, and then you just climb out. That would work, that would work, correct? Got to. The reign of dirt yet continues. Look, uh, look, here's the deal. Thank you, Mr. President. Though they cannot shake her words from their minds, the men still bury the girl alive. Tourism. Tourism. Uh, I come too from the vision. <laughs> We're on a vision quest now? What was that? Look, fat. All you gotta do is shake off the dirt. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say. What? Ah! Uh... <laughs> He's like, oh shit, I did throw her in the hole. Oh, come on, that scared me. Nice uh, fingernails. I take the November issue of Teen's Queen and hastily leave Kogamodo. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got the Teen's Queens. Uh, <laughs> all that work just to get a magazine really drained me. There's got to be a better way. It's about time for dinner, too. I think I'll go get something good and eat my and eat my mind. <laughs> okay, we know where to go. Are they going to be on, in on it this time? If you remember, the uh, fine folks at Kamiarian, who kindly gave us 50% off all of our meals, uh, were part of the conspiracy in our last ending. Sanpei comes out and hands me a menu. Let's have the last item from the Sumo Ashikoshi. I look at my stamp rally card. Let's eat some tasty shit. The only one left is A. I look at the menu. What would be good? Mm. Mm. Monkfish liver? Is this Oishinbo? Uh, make a simulator game for people getting obscure, uh, obscure things from stores like an Elvis calendar or Diana magazines. Yes! Yes! You got something like Ankimo, you know, monkfish liver. Oh no, we've been tricked. Could it be Amasagi teriyaki? What kind of fish is Amasagi? Oh, delicious tiny fish. This looks good. Okay, I'll have the teriyaki amasagi fish set meal. You pick up the magazine, but bap, your wrist is too limp. Now that would be a game. Uh, Sanpei calls out the order and then goes into the kitchen. And this will be the last thing for the sumo ashikoshi. I'm drinking the mule, Barbara. I went down to Sainsbury's yesterday to uh, get some face wash and an oven pizza, and you better believe I had to get some mule. Uh, Sanpei brings out the teriyaki amasagi fish set meal. This is the, um, a little, a little embarrassed. It's my energy drink, Barbara. Uh, it's my energy, it's my energy drink, Birdwitch. It's, um, 
It's uh, uh, a, a virgin Moscow mule. Monster mule. And I don't even really like ginger beer. Um, but it's really, really good. So that's a, that's a testament. <laughs> it is. It's a, uh, it's a wanted monster. Uh, this is the last dish, so I'll take my time and enjoy it. Can you cook it on the brazier yourself? Oh, that looks good. I really like um, smelt. Birdwitch, you made the right decision. Barbara, I'm a ginger ale fan, but ginger beer, uh, I feel, has like too strong a rooty taste for me. Um, but this is really nice. I dive in to the teriyaki amasagi fish. The sweet and salty sauce has seeped into the plump amasagi fish, making it burst with flavor. I could make a habit out of this. <laughs> oh, shit. I've been rumbled. I eat the whole thing in short order. I also really like root beer. But there's just something about ginger beer that I find, like, kind of harsh. Genkichi comes out of the kitchen. Thank you very much. Another great meal. I take the card out. Genkichi stamps the A on the card. Okay. So last time he gave us a, um, a, um, he gave us an eel... He gave us an he gave us an eel uh, keychain that was actually a tracking device, and this time I guess he's a psychic. So he's gonna give us a look see with his second sight. What? <laughs> his face. <laughs> he looks very disappointed about this indeed. Stamp rally has tormented you in work-related contexts. They seem really fun, like whenever they come up in, uh, in, um, in Japanese games. But I guess, like, I guess it's kind of the equivalent to, like, a sub card or, like, a free coffee card. Genkichi gazes at me intently. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Oh, that's our prize this time. He hands me a charm against evil spirits. What would I do with this thing? I was going to say, what, what would I do without you? But uh, Buns is not that nice. Uh, okay. Duly noted. We got the charm, and we got the rally card. What else you got for me? <laughs> A beautiful boy will protect us. We're going to take Sanpei with us. Did you make this talisman yourself? Very reliable temple. Making a water decision about keeping a Japanese English word or name it something people will understand. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Can't say I'm happy to get a charm against monsters and a warning that I'll need it. How about Sanpei? When did he start working here? He's a beaut. So it's not like that's the dialect around here. Oh, uh, they're setting him up to talk weird. Maybe he is the fox boy. Well, guess I'll think about leaving. Uh, Barbara, yeah, absolutely. Guess I'll go to the inn and read my, uh, teen girl magazine. I head back to Matsue Inn. There's our friend again. That stupid crow again. I get back to my room. Let's take a look at the magazine I got from Kogomodo. I open the November issue of Teen's Queen. The faces aren't blacked out. No one messed with the pictures. Thank God. I hurriedly flip to the cute girls around town section. There, that's her picture, taken in the Kiyomise shopping area. This was probably my pen pal. Now I can finally get the truth out of him. 
Where are we gonna where are we gonna hassle them? Like Shinji. Okay. Alright. Lake Shinji is beautiful, drenched in twilight. Aya's classmates are waiting by the lake. I finally found the girl you've been hiding all this time. I found out her true identity. The true identity of the Aya Fumino you guys were trying so desperately to hide. As I thought, I have to show her the proof. That might be Wife Island. There's our teen queen. <laughs> Waifu Chima. <laughs> it's my favorite Gachapon game. Uh, I show her the November Teens Queen issue from 15 years ago. The high school girl whose picture got taken to the Kiyomise shopping area was my pen pal. Isn't that right? All seven still have their mouths shut. Uh, now what? Now that it's come to this, I'll explain my reasoning to them. Her name was Shiori Yoshioka. I don't know all the details, but she's the one who pretended to be Aya Fumino. Aya Fumino passed away 25 years ago. Shiori Yoshioka pretended to be her. So my conjecture was correct. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll go for it. <laughs> there he is, our boy. Uh, so tell me, how did she end up pretending to be Aya? We've come too far for that. You damn well know it. Well, whatever. So tell me, why did she pretend to be Aya? Does she actually intend to sit there the whole time without telling me anything? Oh, man! Hey, bitch, knock it off. <laughs> What's gonna happen? All our favorite characters. What are you guys going on about? Good. I want to hear the truth. Barbara, it must have been amazing, right? I um, I've, I've I've thought about this, and in fact, it was something that I really, really wanted to do when I was like 16 or 17. Uh, I was thinking how fun it would be to do like uh, uh, an a uh, an adventure game in this style um, with just photographed actors. <laughs> it's around the time I was really getting into Gakko um, or Gakoa. Of how how cool it would be. <laughs> I'd still quite like to do it. Shiori is meeting with her seven classmates. Look at that wig! Her hair is so much bigger than her head. I love it. Shiori shows the letter to her classmates. Dear 10th Aya, The spirit of Aya Fumino, who died 10 years ago, haunts the classroom of 3A. She is looking for a friend. Yeah, Barbara, uh, uh, Tanaka in particular, or Tanaka, he, um, they make him look like a fool so much. They put, like, they put novelty glasses on him. They use a smudge tool to make him look bald while he uh, makes a big sad face. <laughs> Imagine finally getting the job to do photo or video for a game and it turns out to be the quiet man. <laughs> Director of photography, Alan Smithy. Um, someone must play the part of Aya and find a pen pal. You will pass this test if you can make the pen pal believe that Aya actually exists. But if they find out that Aya has passed away, you fail. If you fail, the one who played the part of Aya and the classmates closest to her 
will be cursed. It's all our fault. We're the curse bringer. We do this every year. If you are cursed, your life will end. Never, ever forget that. Just the catfishing ghost. We're going to do this every year. We're going to catfish some schlub. And unfortunately, 15 years ago, they got buns. I pray for, for your success from the Ninth Aya. <laughs> Look at those glasses. I have those exact comedy glasses that I got for Halloween one year. Uh, Buns had a pen pal who only wrote you so she wouldn't die. <laughs>私が知っているが、10年前に海に彩さんが病気で亡くなったの。彼女は容姿端麗で芸術的な才能もあった。この世に未練なあった彩さんの霊は教室に住み着いたの。I is an alien. I is an evil spirit. そうみたいね。あやさんが亡くなった年、クラスメートは彼女が生きているふりをしたの。それがどうして呪いになったんですか？事件が起きたのは翌年よ。新三年生は何もしないで生活していた。そうしたら。very frightening. Oh, yeah, Barbara, that's actually a pretty good comparison, huh? I think this game, like, this game is obviously meant to be pretty goofy. Um, it doesn't, it definitely doesn't have an ounce of the charm of Haosu. But then again, what does, you know? God, I'd love to have... I'd love to own a copy of Haosu. <laughs> love Snappy's hair. That's very anime character hair. Everybody has anime character hair. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly styled. Even the giant wig. It's kind of a kind of a Yuri from Dirty Pair kind of look. Anything but that. Could it be me? Can you imagine if it was like uh, Four Eyes writing to us the whole time? That'd be a pretty good twist, I gotta say. Oh, music's getting scary. Four eyes and buns, the beautiful boys. What happened to the Fumino residence this time? Yeah, she's a space alien. A space ghost. A space ghost. Oh, shit. Uh, the eight friends have come to a western-style wooden two-story house with a triangular roof. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of like an Ahigao voice. <sighs> when I see Western architecture, I... <sighs> oh. She already rings the doorbell, and Naoki Fumino answers. Let's go. Professor Fumino leads the eight into his house. The large room has expensive furniture and decorations. The white walls are adorned with portraits of Yoko. <laughs> I'm Shiori. This is my friend Bitch. This is my other friend Fatty. <laughs> House full of people. Still under the walls. Uh, there's a picture of Aya Fumino in a dress, certificates of commendations, and framed newspaper articles as well. Professor Naoki Fumino and his wife Yoko 
greet the eight students. I love her kind of um, looks kind of like a step uh, Russian step couture top going on there she doesn't sound well bitch is reading the newspaper article about Aya <laughs> Saddle up, boys. Number one in an IQ test. She's top of the leaderboards when it comes to IQ tests in the prefecture. Bestie is looking at a picture on the wall. <laughs> I got a buck and bronco to ride. <laughs> She's gonna do some line dancing with the school kids. When I finally make it to Japan, I'll, maybe I'll I'll go to that cowboy bar, and I'll be uh, I'll be a genuine cowboy. <laughs> Genuine cowboy for them to meet. <laughs> like the uh, like the accounts that I've read of uh, a um, this blog of this black tourist who uh, went to a uh, hip hop club and everybody uh, went nuts wanting to talk to him. That'll be like that'll be me at the cowboy club. <laughs> I'll turn up wearing my bolo tie and nothing else. Uh, so it was because she started visiting the Fumino residence that the people in the neighborhood thought Aya's ghost appeared. And I was the pen pal. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> this poor girl. She's like, oh no. Oh no, I've got a real asshole on my hands. Well, guess I better keep writing if I don't want to die. Somehow, I didn't think she really liked me that much. <laughs> uh, I get that she was visiting the Fumino residence to find out about Aya, but why the letters? <laughs> That's not the impression I got from what she wrote. It's like, oh no, this, this horrible pen pal that we heard about, he's here. What happened to her after that? <laughs> Picture. The boys are making a lot of noise while the girls are chatting up a storm. It's a typical recess scene you'd see in high schools all across Japan. Four Eyes is sitting at his desk, reading a book. Hey, Four Eyes, you like reading? The king. He is absolutely the king of this game. Shiori shows him her, her notebook. Four Eyes takes a look at the notebook. Ah, <laughs> uh, faces. Hell yes. <laughs> and her grades started to go up after that. She started studying and then she got good at school. I got desperate and accused her of cheating. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um. What happened to her grades after that? <laughs> he did use a new face for the flashback. What a guy. Were there any changes in her looks or the clothes she wore? 
Spooky. In what way? She looks kind of like a chipmunk. Not in a bad way. <laughs> like, kind of in a cute way. But she's definitely got kind of like a, uh, a woodland creature quality about her. With her hair pulled back so tight. Um, <laughs> people who do the faces get recognized. Do the face! Do the face! Uh, the seven of them are remembering about that time. This is a pretty bad, pretty bad script. Typos aside, there's some very odd grammatical choices. Uh, the seven classmates are chatting away and eating food. Shiori appears from a room in the back. <laughs> She's our daughter now. Uh, she is in the same dress and has the same hairstyle as Aya's picture. The seven gasp and stare at her. She looks just like Aya. <laughs> Snappy. Oh. It is pretty weird um, going to um, the house of a family where their daughter died and dressing up like her. <laughs> what did she say? Yeah, Barbara, I think you're right, actually. <laughs> They're, uh, they're going a bit far with this particular path. Shiori and Bestie are talking. その話は事実なの大学生の行方不明なんて珍しくないでしょ家出ということになってるけど私は違うと思うどうして彼女はアヤさんをいい加減に演じていたの成績も悪くて外見もアヤさんに見せなかった it's like, if you don't get good grades, the curse will befall you. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, he says he's into it. <laughs> I call him daddy. Yeah, sure, you're kind of a freak. As a ghost, I just want the best for you. Do your homework. I wouldn't do this. I'd say I, I'll take the death curse. I don't want to be some dead girl. You can't get me to study. Okay, well, I hope your dreams come true, kid. Was that really the only reason she was playing the part of Aya? So she was interested in horror novels. I guess it's to do with the buried alive girl. Or is it? That's the thing. This is getting very muddled. Was that really her only objective? Wasn't that nice? Could it be that's This is gonna be a real suicide this time? I thought we determined it was Kachinial in an earlier chapter, but I guess we'll find out. After the graduation ceremony, Shiori called her seven classmates to the classroom. But content warning, folks. For uh, a depiction of suicide. Do you think they wrote the endings by playing the game where you fold the paper over and take turns writing things? It's very possible. All right. And it's like, oh, we just can't decide. Let's use them all. <laughs> it's like, oh, we fucked it. 
Shiori stands in front of the blackboard. The seven classmates wordlessly look up at her. Shiori then takes out a knife and cuts her wrist. Fresh blood spurts out, making a crimson puddle on the floor. Look through the wiki and no less confused. Yoko Taro method! Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to play Yoko Taro's root letter. Fatty starts to feel ill and crumples to the floor. The blood flowing from Shiori reaches Fatty on the floor. Yep, it's still fake blood. Abruptly, Shiori picks herself up. <laughs> so uh, I pretended to slip my wrists and I dumped a bunch of food, food coloring on the floor. We did it. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> Fatty on the floor. <laughs> uh, Aya Fumino has found peace then. Did Shiori have any assurance of that? I think I should ask for more details. Was she really able to break the curse? <laughs> Missing, you say? Maybe she's over on Wife Island. I hope they have good Wi-Fi. Uh, nothing happened to you guys? <laughs> well, you came to town. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me the truth? <laughs> she's washing her beans! The rule. So that's the rule. But it's already been 15 years since you graduated. Hasn't the curse gone away? So you tried to hide the truth because you were scared of the curse. <laughs> I'm looking for Wi-Fi, but at the end I found a waifu. Now that is a light novel title if there ever was one. There's that bird again. It's just a crow. Thanks. I see. After they finish telling me about Shiro Yoshioka, the classmates all head home. Well, I guess I should head back too. I'm back at the Matsue Inn. And the music's still scary. Today was it full of incredible stories. It's just gotta be a bunch of urban legends. But as things stand, I have no way to find Shiori Yoshioka. I guess I'll call it a day and get some sleep. There's a black figure next to the futon. I wake up in the middle of the night. What's going on? I can't move my body. This must be sleep paralysis. Feels like someone's in the room. Huh? What in the world? Anybody else have experiences sleep paralysis? I used to get it a lot. <laughs> Today was just full of incredible stories. I can't do the Ash Ketchum voice, but I love that so much, Barbara. That, like, the tragic story of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of a mermaid's death being, uh, being, uh, uh, um, punctuated with Ash Ketchum voice. Birdwitch still gets it. I get it very, very rarely now, but there was a period where I used to get it a lot. Birdwitch will have to find that scene, and uh, and uh, um, and and, and I'll, I'll put it in the Discord or something. Uh, there is a very, very dour and serious role-playing game called um, uh, Valkyrie Profile, which is all about... Uh, all about people leading horrible, horrible, tragic lives, having horrible, tragic deaths, and then going up to uh, to um, Valhalla to uh, fight alongside the Valkyries. And it uses the same dubbing union as the Pokemon anime show, and uh, they all have the voices of uh, the kooky Pokemon characters. <laughs> so you have you have Pokemon voices with just. Uh, death and tragedy. It's really something. Is that fatty over there? I can't move my body. Can't speak. 
Uh, the person standing next to the futon is Omori. Fatty, what's going on? Why are you in my room? <laughs> He's got ghost legs, look. What did he say? <laughs> Fatty holds out a hand and opens his palm. What the heck? What's this about? But Fatty's figure disappears in the cover of darkness. Huh? I can move again. I look around the room, but there's no sign of Fatty. <laughs> uh, was that a dream? I'm still sleepy. I go back to sleep. We're going to be visited by three ghosts tonight. Skull stationery. I had a weird dream last night. I take a letter out of my bag. There's one more letter I haven't read yet. This letter's on skull pattern stationery. This is the tenth letter she sent to me. It's postmarked February 27th. <laughs> We're gonna put on a Christmas meal. I feel like she's taunting us. Did we write back? <laughs> it's a very Ed Hardy hot topic stationery. Eternal pen pal, long distance friend, huh? Maybe she didn't want to come see me in per maybe she didn't want me to come see her in person. How did I respond to her again? Okay, let's see, let's see. What did this dumbass say? Thank you for your letter. I'm actually sick. Just kidding. I'm doing pretty well. I haven't caught any colds or anything. Now that I think about it, I've never caught a cold before. You seem to know everything about me. This must be some uh, some sort of tacit understanding. Eternal Pen Pals has a good ring to it. It sounds like the title of a movie. Let's stay Eternal Pen Pals and Eternal Long Distance Friends. Max. My response was childish, as usual. Someone pounds at the door. It's open. The monkey rushes into the room. How do you know where I'm staying? Fatty! What? You're kidding, right? Seriously? Heart disease? How did he die? It was heart disease. Um, you think it's the curse then? Monkey hurries out of the room. So last night, a dead man was standing by my bed. Fatty said it's not over. Was he talking about the curse? Buns really does hear what he wants to hear. Uh, what was the meaning of opening his palm? I know. I'll do the same gesture and see how other people react. <laughs> Act like you they all just shake your hand. It's open. Tomoko comes in. I hold out a hand and open my palm. <laughs> Brilliant, Buns. Tomoko leaves the room. She took the gesture to mean stop. Maybe uh, he wanted to say the curse stopped. Let's try it on some other people. But he said it didn't stop. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> Just knocking on doors in the hotel and doing weird hand gestures. I hold out a hand to a, another guest and open my palm. <laughs> the guest holds out scissors. <laughs> Damn, he got me. Well, that wasn't it. Haruka comes up to me. I hold out my hand to her and open it like before. <laughs> Five days? No, not that long. 
<laughs> it's just like, what is wrong with you? Haruka leaves. Uh, so Fatty wanted to say five. I hurry back to my room. Uh, the room is as I left it. <laughs> five? But five of what? I look at the letter in front of me. Maybe he meant the fifth letter. There must be some hint there. I read the fifth letter Shiori sent me. It's the letter talking about bitch. Bitch could be in danger next. I send a text to Monkey. Bitch is in danger. I need your contact info. <laughs> I get a text back from Monkey straight away. Monkey sent me Bitch's address. Apparently she lives by Matsue Station. I should hurry over there. Let's go. It's getting exciting. These ending pads are a little bit longer than I expected them to be. Um, but it is a bank holiday, so we can go a little bit longer today. Um, station, right? Yeah, there it is. I head over to Matsue Station. Monkey, you're here too. I mean, she's got kids. Bank holiday is on Monday, so tomorrow, Barbara. I don't know for sure, but... Something falls with a loud thud. <laughs> what? Rico, dead body. <laughs> Rico, suave. Uh, falls to the ground, her face frozen in fear. <laughs> the curse came back because of me. Hey, Rico, dead body. That's a Suda51 uh, um, villain. That's a No More Heroes 3 character. They call me Rico Deadbody. He's really shaken. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> like, oh shucks. The bitch died. <laughs> Are the others alright? Oh, Barbara. Yeah, I, I got in trouble. Playing No More Heroes 3 last night. <laughs> uh, guess what? Uh, all these years later, and, and Suda still has some very serious problems with women. It might be dangerous to stay alone. How about we get together somewhere for now? I'm in the Bob. I'm, I'm in the Bob house. <laughs> uh, we're missing one. Four eyes, no! Protect him at all costs. Monkey shows me the text. I do not have any connection to you people whatsoever. We are not friends. What's that about? Anyway. <laughs> that's how you escape the te that's how you escape the curse. You just text everybody and say, Yeah, we're not friends. You guys suck. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Stupid game. Uh, so bitch didn't make it after all. <laughs> <laughs> the zoomed in face is a lot. Damn. Is there a way to save everyone who's left? Wish I did. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to select that again. And finally, four eyes. Uh, this is the answer of the brightest kid in school, huh? He's just gonna save himself. Yeah. Now what? I guess we think. When in doubt, think. Who would know how to break the curse? Wouldn't Fumino know something? Four Eyes works at the city office. Couldn't he find out where Fumino moved to? <laughs> We're just gonna go down. We're gonna go down to the uh, to the city hall and make him cry again. No, let's go see him in person. Hit him where he works. We all head to the city office together. 
we go to the Civil Welfare Consulting Division. Is Four Eyes here? <laughs> I really love the reaction of uh, using the nicknames on normal people. Did something happen to him? He pulled a sickie. Uh, I see. Thanks. We don't have to leave. We could ask the person who works there. We want somebody to look up the records for us, right? We don't need four eyes to do it. <laughs> We're gonna frog march him into work and make him look it up for us. Four eyes took a day off work because he didn't want to see us. He won't be at home. Hmm. Where would four eyes go? His classmates. Classmates might go. Where would he go? Has he ever asked you out on a date? The class mites. You need to get a special uh, special cream for that. That's got to be it. Let's go to Hinomisaki Lighthouse. I wanted to ask about stomping grounds. I should have done that. Uh, we've come to Matsue Shin Shinjiko Onsen Station. Our group makes the trip by train. <laughs> uh, maybe, but the train is safer. We're all under a curse. The curse shouldn't harm anyone else. Uh, with a car, all of us could die in an accident. But with a train, we're going to take them all with us if this bad boy derails. I don't want to believe we're actually cursed, but it's better to prepare for the worst case scenario. <laughs> we go to the mesh! Oh, oh, tie-in of the century. I feel like Buns would, uh, he'd be a character that you'd meet down there for sure. Um, I arrive at the lighthouse with the classmates. <laughs> I had to wear my glasses so you'd know. Actually, we want to save you. Subordinate buns. Maximum buns. In her letter, she wrote about the classmate she was close with. And she wrote about you. Even if you want to pretend you're not, you are one of her friends. Professor Fumino is the only one who'd know how to fix this. Subordinate buns. Max mode isn't working. And he will scream in his face, right? You're the only one. General Kakin ass. That's what happens when uh, Buns isn't cleanly enough. Um, <laughs> you're the only one who can find out where he went. Do it for the babe, Four Eyes. I don't like this uh, crow being uh, uh, portrayed as uh, as an evil spirit. I think it's given crows a bad rap. <laughs> the crow attacks four eyes. <laughs> she does have a really weird mouth. It kind of like, not like physically weird. It just kind of looks like she's making a weird face. Shorty rushes at the crow. The crow turns away from Four Eyes. I hope it snatched his wig. The crow turns to Shorty. Shorty, what's wrong? That's a screenshot. Maybe that's a, maybe that's even a a, a, a thumbnail image.
The crow's beak is buried in Shorty's forehead. He collapses to the ground. Fatty, bitch, and now Shorty are all dead. And they all died bizarrely, too. We'll all die if we don't do something soon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is an absolute joy. <laughs> he got pecked to death by the bird, I guess. It, like, uh, did a critical hit. It, it, it rolled a critical throw. And uh, pecked right into his brain. <laughs> we come to a nursing home by the coast. After digging around, Four Eyes found that Mr. Fumino is in this nursing home. <laughs> Okudo Shinken. Uh, there's a young woman at the reception desk. We are here to visit Naoki Fumino. Could we see him, please? Fumino san wa koko ni wa imasen yo. Then where is he? <laughs> Just check yourself out, yeah. Could you tell us how to contact him? Oh, this is a this is this is a GDPR breach. Oh, you say you're cursed? Okay, I'll give you the sensitive information. Go see this guy at home, sure. Tell him all about your curse. He's dying. He won't mind. Uh, the receptionist hands us his address. Thank you. Uh, the bus stops and we all get off. We are heading to the address we got from the nursing home. It's pretty deep in the mountains. Goodness me. The five of us walk up the animal trail. <laughs> Thanks for reminding us. <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh no! We've wandered into the spook forest. Things are going to get a little freaky. <laughs> I spot a western style house at the end of the road. A wooden two-story western house. Uh, with a triangular roof suddenly looms over us. They rebuilt the same house. This music is, uh, this song is called Tubular Smells. It's so creepy. It's weirdly quiet, too, like no one's inside. Still no signal. <laughs> it's wearing a Stetson. Well, I say. I'm a domicile. Uh, why is he living in such a remote place? <laughs> uh, are we gonna knock? What are we gonna do? Think about it? <laughs> well, hi! Here we go, huh? It's gonna take some courage to go in there. Well... Oh, are you looking at the guidebook? <laughs> what are we gonna do? I guess we'll investigate it. We haven't done that for a while, right? The door makes a loud, protracted creak as it opens. Professor... <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Professor Fumino comes out of the house. <laughs> Professor Fumino invites us in. Would you recognize a bunch of high school kids 15 years later? Uh, we walk into the living room. Aya's portrait of Yoko is on display too. Why do you have a picture of your wife here? Oh, of course, it's the one that Aya painted that got burned in the fire. That's why. Professor Fumino is looking at me intently. I was Aya's pen pal 15 years ago. <laughs> it's like, oh god, I've heard a lot about you. How do you know about me? 
よくここまでたどり着きましたね。決心のない手紙に導かれたかな What do you think, folks? Do you think Max is going to get what he deserves? Uh, that's right. あれは私の友人が君の家まで届けたんだよ。Why would you do that? みんなをここに連れてきてもらうためですよ。Uh oh. Actually, it looks like we're all gonna die. <laughs> Professor Fumino asks us for、uh, 500 maka and then he runs away. <laughs> Just runs out of the house.、Uh, Fumino takes a pile of letters from a shelf. What's that? Then my letters are here too. He's gonna read every letter just to humiliate us in front of everybody. <laughs> Give me an antidote. Here's an antidote. <laughs> They kept that in the、uh, SMT3、uh, HD remaster, which. Pleased me. Mr. Fumino shuffles through the pile and hands me the ones from 15 years ago. He did the hand motion. These are my letters. No, they didn't change anything. I mean, they,、uh, they tightened up the localization, but、uh, the game itself is.、Uh, Is unchanged. <laughs> What are your measurements? <laughs> we did write that, didn't we? Holy shit. <laughs> What? <laughs> Professor Fumino picks up a scrapbook from the s h e l f Oh god, he's like a serial killer. I read the articles. Daigakse? College student suffers heart attack. College student plunges to his death. 19 year old dies in mysterious circumstances. Dead after graduation. Professional school student dies of heart attack. Professional school student. I'm a professional school student.、Um, I heard about this one. A college student suddenly died inside a train station. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Die, Goxe. Uh, next to an article that says college student dies suddenly, there's a picture of Kazuki Suzumura, the young man who died. All the others are dead? The Christmas exorcism. <laughs> And how did that work out? Mr. Fumino shakes his head. He seems to be having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> look at his little goatee! <laughs> And he's so smooth on top.、Uh, a medium is performing an exorcism ritual. Professor Fumino, Yoko, and Shiori look on. <laughs> Accidentally got rid of Jesus. <laughs> ah, shucks. Sparks fly from the electrical sockets, igniting the curtains. The medium, Professor Fumino, and Shiori try to run. Aya's spirit appears in the flame. <laughs> and that's a cartoon hand. Look at that. Uh, Yoko throws herself at her daughter into the fire. The moment Aya's spirit appears, there's a sudden blast of wind that knocks the medium down. Aya! <laughs> the New Metal Exorcist? Shinto New Metal. You think that's a thing? Uh, Professor Fumino tries to follow, but the fire blocks his way. Need to look into、uh, Shinto Rock. Aya 
I don't believe it. Oh yeah, Barbara, you sent me you sent us that a couple of times, didn't you? The hard rock and Buddhist priest. Buddha <laughs> Buddha <laughs> A Japanese cover band of Judas Priest called Buddhist Priest. Now that now that would be cool. Uh, is that why you sent that letter? <laughs> Whatever happened to Shiori? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Tight leather foot <with> straps. Shiori san ga aitai hito o okuri dasu koto. And um so sureba kanojo wa manzoku shi playing um playing the drums but like um with with one of your arms inside your kimono like uh like a one-armed samurai or like Oron from Final Fantasy 10. Kanojo no aitai hito o okuri dasu. Uh oh. Um. Ishihara grabs a knife from a nearby shelf. Whoa. I think we bungled. We're all walking through the thick forest together. Each of us is on edge and jumps at the slightest shadow. If the person Shiori wants to meet dies, the other could be saved from the curse. Know what? I don't think she wanted to meet us at all. She didn't like us. <laughs> but she disliked me. We are getting wicker manned. No, the one she wants to meet must be Bestie. <laughs> we bunzled it. Very good. Very good CD breakfast. <laughs> Four Eyes walks ahead on his own. Take this. Four Eyes stops in his tracks. Door slammed downstairs. <laughs> Hey, what's with you? What what happened? What just happened? What happened to him? Uh, Four Eyes is suddenly taken by the forest. Not good. Monkey, look out! Ishihara raises the knife she took from the house. She brings down the knife, piercing Monkey's chest. Why? Monkey falls to the ground, dead. <laughs> What's with you? <laughs> Snappy runs off on her own. Snappy, don't go off on your own. It's dangerous. Snappy disappears into the darkness. Snappy! Ishihara gets in my way as I try to go after Snappy. Why'd she kill Monkey? Calm down. I'm not the one Shiori wants to meet. You know that. Ishihara brandishes the knife. Oh, come on. <laughs> At this rate. I narrowly dodge her knife swing. <laughs> this is carnage, yeah. The charm from Genkichi falls out of my pocket. No! I try to pick up the charm, but Ishihara comes at me. No good. Gotta run. I flee into the forest. Ishihara chases after me. I don't want to die in a place like this. Suddenly, there's open air in front of me, and I skid to a halt. Did I come to a road? What's it gonna be? 
That's a cliff. I thought so. But it's a cliff. It's a cliff. Watch out. I managed to stop right on the edge, but Ishihara is going too fast. <laughs> she almost falls off the cliff, but I managed to grab her arm. Stop this! You won't survive that fall. Ishihara raises her free hand. She's still clutching the knife. Stop it! With no other options, I like. <laughs> Never mind. All right, look, if you're going to be like that. She disappears down the side of the cliff. I am the only one that survived. I dropped the charm, but it didn't seem to have much effect anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. I head back down the road. I, we're kind of a murderer now. Self-defense, maybe, but... I walk alone through the thick forest. I think I'm lost. I've been walking for three hours and I haven't hit a road yet. Guess I have to keep walking. No matter how far I walk, the track keeps going on and on. And suddenly, I hear something from behind. When I turn around, there's a young man I've never seen before. Oh, thank God. Is there a road nearby? The young man's head hangs low. Excuse me, I'm kind of lost. The man says nothing. There's another young man behind him, too. Um... <laughs> uh... When I see the man's face, I freeze. I remember him from somewhere. From the obituary that Professor Fumino showed me. It's Kazuki Sh Suzumura. But he should be dead. Which means this place is... Ghosts! Uh, a row of pale-faced men continues after Suzumura, too. I understand now. These men are all his pen pals. They wander even after death, unable to pass on. It seems I'm going to be wandering, too. How did it come to this? I just want to go back and start over. <laughs> what an ending. Aw, <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> Folks, we have been pestified. I think Buns is kind of a pest himself. <laughs> Incredible stuff. Um, I think I've got a little bit more time. Oh, oh, post credit scene. The lights of high-rise buildings outside the window illuminates the room. The image on the TV screen stirs and crackles. <laughs> They're all pests! <laughs> on top of the desk is a set of star pattern stationery. A high school boy is writing a letter. Nice to meet you. I live in Tokyo. I'm in my third year of high school. This is my first time writing a letter. Writing a letter by hand is a little different from writing an email. I'm very excited to receive your reply. My friends call me Lettuce, because I'm a herbivore type, I guess. He's the herbivore male of the grass-eating tribe. But isn't lettuce a vegetable? If I were a herbivore, shouldn't I be called goat or sheep or rabbit instead? It's weird. He puts the finished letter into an envelope. It's addressed to Aya Fumino. Root letter two. <laughs> lettuce, uh... And, uh... Let us in the boys. <laughs> I'm the goat. Look at that. No, oh, Lord. Three letters remaining. Or three endings remaining. We're not going to be able to get through all three. I think this is going to be another couple of streams. But uh, let's go for one more.